Hey, I looked through all my videos and I don't think I told you this story already, but someone sent me a video by email and it reminded me of this story. On our honeymoon we went to the Florida Keys and we went to this place in Key Largo called Dolphins Plus where you could swim with the dolphins. There, there's another place called Dolphin Research Center or something like that in Marathon, but uh, the, the reason we chose Dolphins Plus, and this was in 1993, so I have no idea what's going on with it now, but all the dolphins there are, while they're in pens, they can get out and they can leave whenever they want, um, but they choose not to because they are fed and they have play toys come in every day by way of the people who want to swim with them and um, they're treated really well and performing dolphins go there for vacations because dolphins can get ulcers from stress. So anyway, this place is really great. Look it up. Um, it's, it's, uh, they don't guarantee that you'll get a ride from a dolphin. It's not where you go and you pay and you get rides from dolphins. You go, you pay. It, there's like an hour and a half orientation first and then you go into the pen for about a half an hour and if you're lucky you'll get chosen as a toy for one of the dolphins so my husband and I went and this time the first time he swam also but this time he didn't he didn't go in um, there were so many people that they had to do it and they, they have two pens so they put two groups one in each pen and then I had to wait now, in the pen that I, I hate to use the word pen, but it, you know, it, it is a, a fenced out place, but again, there's plenty of room underneath the fence for them to get out into a channel that leads out into the ocean, so, or the gulf, or whatever. Um, so they, if they don't feel like playing with people, they just leave. So, um, so anyway, the pen that I was going into, there was a, a boy who got selected by this dolphin, Nikki, as her toy, and he gave, she gave him rides and everything. It was really cool to watch. So when it was my turn, we went into that pen, and in under three minutes, and I don't know how she made the choice, but she decided that I was going to be her next toy. And so the first, they tell you that the dolphin comes up beside you, and they'll sort of tilt their, their dorsal fin I think that's the dorsal fin toward you and you're supposed to uh, like here's the fin here's the fin and you're supposed to take it with your thumb pointing down and that's supposed to put you in a position that's easy for them to give you a ride so she did that and I'm like yay and well first when she slid up beside me you look into these animals eyes and there is so somebody home the, their the intelligence and the glee that I saw in her eye was just incredible. And so anyway, so I grabbed onto her dorsal fin, and the thing was, she wasn't giving me a ride, she was giving me a dive. And I was not prepared for that. Not only a dive, but a spiral dive. So I'm like, because <clears throat> I had those, you have those stupid snorkel things on. So um, I separated from her, because I got all disoriented, and I swam up to the top, and uh, then when she came back around, I was prepared this time. So this time I held on, but I also like wrap, wrap my arm around her body. And we did this spiral dive. It was amazing. And then, you know, we separated and I came up and she kept just kept giving me dives and rides. And this was like for a half an hour. But the thing was, every once in a while I would end up close, kind of close to the fence and she couldn't access me easily. So what she would do is she would dive really low and then she would come up really fast and bash me. I would fly out of the water and get, you know, more into the middle of the of the pen. And uh you know, I don't know what it was, but she always got me in the boob and that hurt. So so I was really bruised after this half hour, but it was one of the most magical moments in my life. And to, even though I was just her toy, to sort of communicate and be with an a another animal besides a human that way, it was, oh, it was just, I, there's just no way of describing it. And 
back in 93, I think it was like $65, and it was so worth it. It was just so worth it if you ever get the chance. Um, I imagine that swimming in the wild would to be picked by a wild dolphin probably would be even a lot more special feeling, but um, things you have to know that dolphins, that the only time people are injured by dolphins when they're swimming with them is when they freak out because dolphins will swim behind you and sniff you, they'll, they'll smell you. And then if they're really interested, they'll open their mouth and, and they'll taste you, sort of. But sometimes when a dolphin, um, they'll, they're really, really interested and they'll come and they'll take their mouth, mouth like that. And they're not touching you, but they're tasting you kind of from the water. And if you freak out and you move, they have really sharp teeth. So that's the only time. And the other thing that we're told in orientation is really hilarious is that dolphins from almost the, the time they're born, they don't differentiate any kind of play between sex. Sex to them is fun and they can have sex from the time they're very young. And so they warn the women because they can tell the difference. I don't know why. But males will sometimes come and their penis will hook them, hook the women down by the knees. And you just have to like be calm and you know swim away or whatever. But uh, it's just hilarious. They're, they're just amazing creatures. So now at the end of this video I'm going to tag on the video that my friend sent me. It's just so beautiful. Just dolphins playing with these bubbles, bubble rings in the water that they can create. And um, enjoy.